Hello, I'm Damien from Slotcar and I want to talk today about these Career Ago slot car sets. And in front of me here, I've got all the sets that are available for this Christmas and I'm going to go through each one and tell you about them so you know what's what. First though, let's talk, let's talk about Career Ago, exactly what it is. So Career Ago is a slot car system which has 1 43rd scale cars. Now let's have a look here. This is a Career car, 1 43rd scale. And this is the regular 132nd scale that we normally sell to adults. So it's a little bit smaller uh, and it's ideal for people who want to set up a track in a confined space or it's easier for younger children to play with where they have to go and get a de-slotted car themselves and the track is all more compact. The other good thing about compact tracks is if you, if you want to make a really long track you can still fit it in a reasonable space. Now Carrera goes aimed at kids maybe from about well, from about as young as they start driving slot cars, which with our son, he, we gave him a career ago set at three years old. By three and a half, he was actually a pretty good slot car driver and driving 132nd cars with reasonable competency. Now, even though we have a 132nd scale slot car track at home, we got him a career ago set because he could just play on his own and he could have it in his room or he could have it in the lounge and he could play with it without having to, uh, to go and play on dad's track. Worked out really well. The Career Ago system is very, very durable. The cars are made to take the knocks. Sometimes people bring us cars to replace a part and they might have no paint left down the side to them. And that tells me that they've been really played with, really enjoyed, and they've lasted particularly well. Career Ago is a track system where you can expand it. You can get extra straight track or curves. There's a variety of curves, um, which means you can get a variety in your layout. So here's the standard curve. They call it Curve 1. Here is curve 2 that fits around the outside of that, so you can put those together in different ways and make a make different arrangements. There is also a curve 3 that goes around the outside of this one, and with the three different uh, sections it means you can do corners that tighten all the way in, expand all the way out, you can do chicanes that are faster, slower, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. It gives you the freedom to create the layout that you want to create. And if you want to make, if you want to make something for your kids that's going to really hold their interest, and they're going to use it and use it and use it and that toy is going to become a hobby, consider putting as many different varieties of track piece in a layout so they've got to learn it, they've got the challenge, they've got to focus on it to drive it. If they drive around on autopilot, they're not going to stick with the hobby. So make some interest for them and give them some variety. Now amongst these sets there is some variety in there because some of the sets already include all of those different pieces. But we'll go through them one by one shortly. Now, another really important thing I've got to say, and I can't stress it enough, if you're going to buy a slot car system like this, do buy one that you can get parts for. So many people call us, the, the two or three weeks after Christmas, our phone doesn't stop with people saying, I've got this slot car set from a chain store, this is broken, they haven't got the parts, can you fix it? And the answer is almost always no. Okay? Career ago sets, if your dog chews up the controller, if Dad stands on the track and breaks it. If one of the cars gets lost under the couch, doesn't matter what happens, we can get it going. Okay, we can get the parts, or we can fix, we can do whatever we need to to make it work for you. So please shop wisely and buy something that's got some longevity. Cool. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at the sets. The first two here, these are both Disney Cars 2 movie theme sets. The cars are the characters Francesco Bernoulli and Lightning McQueen. Kids love these. Kids four, five, six years old, these sets are fantastic play sets. Now I'll call them play sets, not race sets, because one thing that's important to know is that the cars are mismatched. Okay, Francesco Bernoulli, low, wide, flat. He's very, very fast compared to Lightning McQueen. So if you've got older kids, seven, eight years old, they're going to want to have cars that are evenly matched to have fair racing. But for younger kids, it just doesn't matter. They will play and they'll love it and they won't know any different and they'll, they'll love the TV, uh, the movie character cars. So be aware of that. The first thing we're looking at here, this is called the Neon Cup. It's basically a figure of eight layout. The crossover in the middle is a, is a flat crossover where the cars have to go uh, through the same piece of track. So it means that one car is going to have to slow down or speed up to avoid contact. So that adds a little bit of excitement. The two features of this track are the high bank turn and it's got a regular bank turn at the other end. So let me explain that. The high bank turn is very, very tall. It sticks up on an angle like this. 
So to get around it, you need enough speed to go around, but if you don't go fast enough, you're gonna fall off. So getting that right is, uh, is crucial. Not as hard as what you think, and you do get used to it, it but, and then it adds a great uh, interest feature of the track. The other turn on the other end is a bank turn, which is about this sort of angle, and it's dished. So you can really rock it around at full speed. That makes it a really fun, exciting curve to drive. So that, for a layout that's not very big, and the lap length is four and a half meters, this has actually got quite a bit of uh, variety to it. So this is a pretty cool set, but the best thing is the cars light up. They've got lights in the chassis. If the kids are running it just before bedtime, uh, especially in the winter time, turn the lights off and uh, it's pretty, looks pretty exciting after dark. The next set we've got here is the ice racing set, same to character cars, but in different liveries with the ice racing theme. This has a section of ice track on one end, which is white, and it's got some themed border sections that go around the track to uh, enhance that, uh, that, that uh, scenic element of the track. Uh, it's 4.9 metres, the layout. It's got a double loop to loop in it, where the cars do a full, uh, a full loop around. And, uh, that is pretty cool. Now these sets are both $155, everything included. Uh, in fact, all the sets uh, come that way. You take everything out of the box, you set it up, five or ten minutes to set it up, and uh, maybe the first time might take you ten minutes, the next time might take you five minutes once you know what you're doing. Set it all up, plug it in, pull the trigger, the cars go. Um, and it's easy for kids to play on their own with Career Go, which is a really good feature. You can leave them to it. Um, but if you can't help yourself, you're just going to have to get down the floor and play with them, um, which is kind of the way I do it. The, this set here is called the GT Contest, has a, uh, a figure of eight. It's the most basic of the sets that's out here. No bank curve, no high bank turn, no squeeze section, nothing like that. It's got the crossover intersection where cars can only go through uh, one at a time. Um, but this is a set that's uh, only $125, good entry into the hobby. And of course, next, uh, next time a birthday rolls around, you can get some extra track and you can extend it and you can make it your own um, whenever you need to. The cars are a Ferrari 458 and a Corvette C7R. The cars are very close in size and shape, although the Corvette's got smaller wheels, so it's going to have greater acceleration, but it won't have as much top speed as the Ferrari. So this is a set that uh, the cars may effectively lap at about the same pace. They'll be quite different to drive though. So uh, for a kid who spends a lot of time playing on their own, uh, a, a solo child, a set like this is really good because it gives them the variety of two cars. The next GT set in the range, uh, and this one's $175, this has a lap length of 5.4, uh, so a bit bigger than the 3.6 metres of the GT contest. The speed and race set comes with a Ferrari 458 and Mercedes SLS. And uh, these cars are similar size and shape and weight, probably run very, very similarly. Uh, the track has a loop-to-loop, -loop. Uh, apart from that it's basically a figure of eight with a banked curve on one end, and that's the, uh, the semi-banked curve, so you can rock it around there. Um, so um, this is a pretty, neat, uh, a pretty neat set, starting to get into the sets that are good for kids that actually want to have a race, kids that are seven, eight years old perhaps, that want to see who's quickest. Now we're moving on to this set, which is my favourite in the range. This is called the Photo Finish. The cars are the Ferrari 458 in this uh, fantastic multicoloured livery and the Lamborghini Huracan, which is just a neat looking car. These cars are probably a good match for each other, similar size, shape, wheel size and so forth. The layout is a big layout, it's a monster. It's 8.6 metres and it's a very open flowing layout. So you can really get a flow going, you can really learn the layout, you can learn to drive it, and you can have some really exciting races with this layout. Now, it's got some real variety. It's got each of the three different radius track pieces, and it's got bank curve turns in two different radius. So it's, it's got some real variety in there. And it's got a long straight, uh, and there's a crossover intersection too, so one car's gonna have to get away if they're crossing at that point together. But this, if you've got kids that actually want to race and they actually want to get into it, or dad wants to challenge, uh, mum wants to challenge uh, one of the kids, then this is the way to go. This is awesome. And this set uh, is $185. Uh, so it's only $10 more than the $175 of the speed and race. So this is my pick. Next, we go into the DTM sets. Now, the DTM sets, the cars are basically the same. So they will run very, very similarly. So for the fairest, closest racing, DTM sets have always been what we've recommended. And the first one we've got here is a DTM Power Race. 
This is $149. The lap length is 5.4 meters. Uh, what have we got here? We've got two different radius of curves. We've, uh, through the middle of the layout, we've got a, like a chicane and a, and a faster radius. We've got a, a steep bank curve and we've got a loop to loop. Um, now, just another thing to mention the loop to loop, kids love it, kids always want it. It is a bit of a novelty feature. Once you start really seriously racing, you might not want the loop to loop in there, uh, which is why I like the speed and race. But this one here, this is a bit of a compromise between a race set and a play set, having had, got that loop to loop in it and the high bank curve. Uh, so this is a bit of a mix, it's a bit of an in the middle, um, which, uh, which is nice. And like I say, DTM cars, perfect match racing each other. This one here, the DTM Heroes, again, that same perfect matching cars. Now, this uh, this track has got two crossovers, and that's where the, the rails cross over. So the cars are going along and they change lanes. Now, this is very cool, add some action, but be aware that cars do, do hit here. And sometimes people love that, some people don't like that interrupting the flow of the racing. If you have a set that's got those and you didn't like it, you can just take them out and put straight track in there. That's no problem at all. Uh, it's also got a squeeze section where the rails come close together but they don't touch and that means the cars can get through um, pretty close to each other but there will be a bit of argy-bargy there in the corners um, you know, which, which can be cool too. This track got a loop loop and it's got the high bank curve and uh, it has um, a lap length of 6.2 metres. Now this one here, this is a bit of a beast this set here, now this has got a 9 metre lap length I think, yep, 9 metres, DTM cars again, now this set's got quite a lot involved, so first off there's heaps of track, we've got the two crossover curves, we've got uh, loop -to loops which are both uh, in the suggested layer as uh, single loop -to loops very close to each other, we've got a high bank curve, we've got a regular bank curve, and there's a lot going on with this one, so this is a pretty exciting track. So this one here is $189 and it is really full of excitement. So this, you're getting a lot in, in a reasonably small footprint as, as far as slot car tracks go. And this would be heaps of fun. The last set we're going to look at, and this is called HRT Champions, especially aimed at this part of the world, holding V8 supercars. So this is a set that will be easily popular at Christmas time. People will want it. People that are V8 supercar fans, presumably their kids, uh, will also follow likewise and be V8 supercar fans. Not always the case, so just be beware before you buy it. Don't buy it for yourself, buy it for them. This set is $199, so it's the most expensive of the lot, and it's got a small lap length, 5.3 metres of track, it's got a bank curve, it's got loop to loops, but there's really not anything more in this layout as there is in, for instance, the, well, the Speed and Race, uh, I actually prefer the layout, that's $175. Um, this one here, the DTM Power Race, this is basically the same sort of layout, $149, much better value. And, you know, the thing to note about these V8 supercars, um, they both look identical. So, your kids, you know, they may not know which car they're driving. So, be aware of that, okay? It'll be popular, but it's not my pick. So, um, that's the range. If you need any more help deciding, you can give me a call, or you can email us uh, through a, a link on the website, and I'm happy to answer any questions and help out as much as possible. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope uh, your decision has just become easier.